Welcome back to Down the Frame. It's a beautiful day out. An unexpected break in the cold weather. We're gonna seize the day by doing transom work. We've talked a lot about the transom, talked a lot about what we're gonna do. Today's the day we're gonna prep the transom and lay the pieces. Maybe not lay the kusa. I don't know. We're gonna try to lay the kusa. That's a lot of cutting. First thing to do is get itchy, but we bought some, we bought some Tyvek or HDX suits to save us a little bit of cleaning up. We gotta pour some PVA on the old patch and then we gotta get working on that. Look at those Tavex suits, brother. Fit well. Yeah. The XL, we'll see how she fits up top. A little tight. <clears throat> oh dude, this is full PPE. <laughs> it's the first time we've had like full PPE. With the respirator and everything? We're gonna respirator be... and goggles, dude. Oh yeah, it's gonna be clutch. Bonjour. We have all the proper PPE. First success today. Without further ado, let's get down to the front. I know. I was trying to, I don't want to go any deeper because it's like, I don't want to take too much material out. Yeah, maybe we can just lay glass over that. I don't know. Because this is like deep. Yeah, I know. You know? Today's one of those days where you just, the wind ain't there, you know? Literally, it wasn't a windy day. It was nice. But like emotionally, you know, we we had some, uh, some run-ins with lethargy. You know, it's a beautiful day. I would have loved to really take advantage of it, but the cards were just not falling right. We burned through five batteries, grinding through one section of the, the transom. And it's just, we need to reapproach this strategy of prep, lay, continue. Because just the constant mess and the constant gearing back up and gearing back down just to get like completely dirty. It's a lot of startup and shutdown costs that I think we can clean up by literally buying a corded grinder and just go through the entire boat, prep every single surface, grind everything down, and just be done with grinding and sanding. I don't know, how do you feel about it? Uh, it's weird, because we were looking for a specific like color and pattern in the transom and we weren't able to find it. So I don't know if it's a different I'll show you guys. Here, but what we were fearing was we were trying to get down to like the actual fiberglass color that you see kind of down here, that, that lighter hay color. But we're finding nothing but gray up here, which we were fearing is a uh, gel coat. But it looks like this might be, we can't go much deeper than this. So like this has to be the fiberglass. We're going to try to maybe adhere to this. Yeah, because you can tell like there's a stark contrast between the two of these. Yeah. So. But I think with the right tools, we're going to be able to push through this. Well, we'll see you guys in the next clip and hopefully I follow through with my word. Okay, we're back at this thing. We got the parts in. Yes, sir. Jay's a year older, happy birthday. Uh, thank you. Thermostat. <laughs> Thermostat. Oil filter. We didn't need that yet, but you know, why not get Does it? This come, oh, that comes off. Yeah. I was like, there's no way that matches <laughs> that. Yeah. And uh, what we're really waiting for was this guy. Yep. The that... little, uh, little thing that fits in the thing when it's flipped over. Yep. So we're gonna assemble the oil pan today. Big moment. He's been waiting for this. I've been for waiting so long. since we took it off. I've been like the oil pan going back on. That'll be, <laughs> That'll be the day. Sir. Parts pile, super small. Love to see it. We we'll probably put the intake manifold on today too. We could do a couple things until we realize we need some more things, and then we have to wait a month for parts. <laughs> Yay! Old engines. <laughs> crank it up. Crank it all. This doesn't look directional. The pistons were that way too. <laughs> I don't know. Second opinion, I guess. You have the more trained eye now. Yeah, yeah, sure. <laughs> Are we waiting for um these guys too? Oh, I was supposed to do research on that. It's not. Yeah, we don't have to put that in right I mean, now. We do put the oil pan on, right? Yes. <laughs> Son of a there it is. <laughs> this guy fits in there nicely, which is good. So it basically just sits in this channel. What that helps it do, it helps seal to this pipe here, which helps us maintain oil pressure. So like it uh, allows us to have some better suction as we're... <laughs> now we're doing research to see what else we need to get the oil pan on. So this goes like this, this. And then this. 
Looks right. Where yeah. are the bolts for that thing, though? Those are installed. Don't throw anything on it. <laughs> <laughs> if I've learned anything from this fucking connection. There's some big wildlife in here. <laughs> so here's our old thermostat. As you can see, pretty crunchy without dropping that into the engine. So they're a little bit different. It's like this one might have a different detection method or, but size-wise they look the same. So I imagine they probably fit the same hole. It's like updated? Yeah, I think it might just be a newer, newer tech. A little lightheaded there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost passed out. <laughs> it's bigger than 12. Is it SAE? Or do you think it's maybe a 13? Or 14 maybe? She seems a little small for... Never a 13. Let's go 14. Well, you say that. You're going to put that on there and it's going to be too small. Too big. That's what I meant. Maybe it does go in first. No, it can't. There's no way to hold it in there. Is this the right shaft? Ooh, I felt you. We knew you had to time your oil pump. That's the other thing too. This is our first like engine build of this engine. So we don't really know what needs to be replaced. Like, we don't have a total replacement. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, send us a rebuild kit, you mm -hmm. know? Newer engines could come with potential rebuild kits. Right, next, LS, I think <laughs> is what we're saying. Snug as a bug in a rug. It's starting to get heavy, folks. Should we try to put the thermostat in? I don't even know how that went in. I don't even know where it goes. Is it on the other side? No, it's up, it's by you. It's gotta be a thermostat upgrade. Oh, <laughs> Cover. To the pile. When in doubt, RTV it in. Oh, it's close up. <laughs> so this thing should just plop on in here. Now I don't believe there is a direction to this. That goes in there, just like so. Then we hit her with the socket. She's all cleaned up, folks. Most of that plastic or paper material is gone, so. <laughs> These are flimsy. <laughs> Dude, risking Literally it for the paper. Yeah. <clears throat> what could go wrong? I don't have high hopes for those gaskets. They don't gotta run long, they just gotta run hard. I I used to think everything made sense, but Pa said, no. But Pa said, f*** your logic, this is a Volvo Penta. Hey, good luck, sonny boy. There ain't no logic where you're going. Like the cow, like the old west narration type thing. Mm -hmm. Do you like voiceover? You packed the wagon and headed west. Little Jimmy's getting better. <laughs> <laughs> Improving day by day. Broke his leg making a TikTok. <laughs> My oh my, there's a lot of gaskets for this engine. I wish I knew which one went where. <laughs> Just found our new channel. Just all voiceover. <laughs> That'd be pretty hilarious, actually. That paper should last. <laughs> Seriously, dude. Well, that's why I was like, we'll put a lot of tension in there, <laughs> pre-stress the paper. We're gonna turn this thing on, it's gonna piss out of there and anywhere there's a paper gasket. This is actually a good gasket. So the new gasket has some material in between each of the exhaust cylinders in the middle. The old gasket does not. Big old gaping hole. So what that leads to is, oh my God. See all that wear right there? If you focus. So all this wear right here is because it was just firing in between these two exhaust ports. Ultimately, is it like the worst thing ever for the engine? Probably not, but it's not good. The wear is definitely way more than like over here. So good job, Volvo. Re-engineering, <laughs> gotta love it. Mm -hmm. Carburetors don't go on upside down. Wow. So engine, folks. Where? Parts off the ground. <laughs> Should we paint that thing? Should we paint this? Yeah. It's paint. Natural paint. <laughs> the Lord's paint. <laughs> Just. Seems like it's working. Kind of taking off a lot of material though now. I'm pretty sure this is a channel. <laughs> it might be. I don't know, dude. My theory was correct. That is a gasket. Wow. It's a lot of gasket. I feel like we're gonna have to like get this machine. Wow, that cleaned up nice. Yeah. Was that a paper gasket? <laughs> wow. So much cleaner, dude. Wow, that's impressive. Okay. Yeah, cleaned up super nice. I mean, it looks like it's for it, but it looks like it's for a smaller engine. Cause the, those holes don't line up. Ruh -ruh. More problems. Yeah, I'm never buying, I'm never buying a kit. Again, I will just one by one definitely just go find 
a website that's a like dealer of whatever engine you're working with, has the broken down schematics and everything, and go with that. Buy once, cry once, you know what I mean? Go with the good stuff first. So now we're trying to get the distributor mounted, but we're having some trouble getting her uh, seated all the way down there. So we're gonna go ahead and lube her up, see if we're able to get a little bit better, uh, a little bit better placement here. Ooh, that look promising. I think that's in, she's flush. In like sin. How are we gonna get this running? Like, I want to run it on Yeah, no, we'll just, we'll have a gas can. Maybe we should bring it to Len, he's got an engine. We'll just have a gas can, we'll hook <laughs> it up to a battery and we'll run it. Everything's on board, there's no ECU. Yeah, yeah. it's distributors. Fuel and air and spark, that's all we need. Show yourself, Wind. Identify <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Identify yourself. All right, so we got distributor on, I some sort of reservoir. Thing? I, don't know. I don't know. Nobody knows what that is. Probably a reservoir, like a coolant reservoir. Fuel pump. Question mark. Thermostat. We cleaned up ye old manifold a bit. These are not ideal. Like even even now, I can still I feel like I can still see some gasket. Might have to do a little bit more work on that. But if not, we'll torque it two times the spec and <laughs> <laughs> we'll get her seat. So the only thing that we have to worry about is is this front plate. It has this weird felt ring, which I'm assuming is to stop any oil from coming out. And we gotta find a replacement one or a replacement for the cover itself because- This was leaking. This was leaking. And then once we get that on, we can put the oil pan on and do all of the coolant lines, pipes and all that jazz. So I'd say since we have to order a couple parts, probably see you next year and we'll- <laughs> January. January. January, January. 2021. Right. What you doing? Look all the paint on this. Oh, no, <laughs> dude. I, I think that was just coolant. I don't know, dude. It looks like particles in yeah. there. Oh, yeah. Next segment here. Uh, we're with the... Uh, next day. Next day. Well, it's not the next well, day. It's, it's like the next a week, week later, but... Yeah, as you saw in the last uh, part of this video, we had a rough day. So we uh, decided to switch it up, and we're here at the shop, and we got... Uh, Ye old engine, I know you guys haven't seen this in a minute, but it took me a while to get all the O-rings and I probably don't even have all of them, but I did sit down for like hours and go through the entire diagram of all the parts and find exactly all the O-rings and everything that we need. And I think I have everything. So today our goal is to get the front timing cover on. Which goes here. Which goes here. And, and that allows us to put on yeah. the oil pan over there. And Jake's been barking about this oil pan for the last Dude, couple I, months. Dude, I really have. Since we took it <laughs> off, I've been like, this is, it's gonna be great to put it back on. But that'll be the last part of the oiling. Well, actually, sorry, no. We have to put that back on, which is the oil cooler, which we just cleaned off out there. That's what you saw at the beginning of this section. So to start on this uh, front timing cover, we're gonna replace the felt gasket. Help seal in all the oil. All right, I gotta grab my tool bag. I even have small stock pens in here. And in case you guys didn't know, we have a podcast. It's called Small Talk Podcast. You can find it on any of your podcasting uh, places to listen to podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> iTunes, Spotify, or sorry, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, wherever. Check out Small Talk Podcast. I've got a link down below. Retention clip spring. With this old stuff, I really like to wipe everything down. You know? yeah, especially when we have it apart, it's like the easiest time to clean everything. Yeah. That extra peace of mind that it's gonna work when we need it. If you guys don't like that humming sound, I'm sorry. That's the heater and it's freezing cold. So you're gonna hear it for a bit. Right now we're just disassembling the system that holds the felt ring in. And I'll show you guys the old one versus the new one. And I'd say it was a good thing to replace this and not skimp out on the dollar or two or whatever it was. Yeah, when we took this apart, it was actually leaking. Like you could tell there was residual oil all over the, the front cover, so. Yeah, new one, right, right. Pretty cool, huh? White and, oh, this one is just decrepit. Dark, destroyed felt ring. So, good upgrade there. That's interesting. Hmm. That's broken. Mm. Well, thank you guys for watching down the frame. <laughs> I give up. <laughs> this is not supposed to be like that. That is an impressive critical failure right there. I don't know how that could have happened. That was not us for sure. That, that would have required so much force. 
could have been one of the reasons why it was leaking, but as you can see, this cast part is completely broken all the way up to there. Yeah, that's no good. It's actually bent out. It looks like perhaps the engine might have had some failure at some point that pushed back on this and destroyed this. You can see though, this is, I believe, where oil comes in. That's mm -hmm. another reason why we actually can't even use this, is this baffling down here, or this hole, uh, oil comes in there and keeps the crankshaft head, I guess you could call it, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it keeps it lubricated. Right. So if this is broken, it leaks into here. It leaks into here and does not give you proper oil pressure, pressure and lubrication on there. Literally, how this engine build has been going <laughs> the entire time. How did we not notice that? It literally just looks like. I wonder if um, there was like water in there. Remember they stored it outside? I wonder it if there was water and in there and it, it popped it. Cause it seals, it seals around the, the crank right here. Yeah. So I wonder if it froze there, and what, just there, popped it out. There was for sure water in the oiling system and that could be a possibility. It's uh, It's been a rough week on the build. I know you guys have been really wanting to see all the boat progress, but between dealing with the weather outside and then like running into these problems, which like, yes, could it have been seen before but like that was such a fine detail when you look at it from above it doesn't seem like anything's different until you could see the light coming through right there and i was like wait a second and i flipped it over and this was popped out this we need a whole new front timing cover that's gonna slow the build down and uh that's gonna have to be a video for this week because we really can't push forward on anything else sometimes it's not it's not the best of days and especially because we don't see this stuff every day when we we work on the boat once a week and that's due to like just job constraints and life constraints in general. Like obviously we'd like to do this every day, but we're not getting paid from YouTube. Speaking of, if you guys want to help us out, it's greatly appreciated. We have been trying to do this all on our own, but you know, we're really getting to the point where we really love some help. And if you guys are enjoying the content, we'd love to have you over on the Patreon page. I'm going to be posting behind the scenes stuff as well as polls and stuff like that, or where you can vote depending on what color or how we do things with the boat in the future and future projects. So if you like our content, you want to see us around for a while please consider subscribing to uh our patreon it's definitely going to be it for today's build unfortunately that was a solid 10 minutes man you know what we just need a an eco boost somebody loan us a eco boost four banger so we can put it in our boat <laughs> all right guys well thank you for watching we'll see you guys next time i'm down in the frame